Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Let me know in the chat if you can hear me. Make sure I didn't screw something up on the on the setup here. But uh, hello, fast forward, Shuka, Chris, and Ote. Welcome, welcome. TGIF is right. Uh, I'm looking forward to this morning stream because I've never done something um, like this before. It's pretty early for me. It is 7.15 in the morning. Uh, and this is actually when I usually record uh, my videos. Uh, you know, I, I have a pretty busy schedule with my crazy dog and whatnot and going into work and my partner also goes into work. So I find the best time to record is first thing in the morning while my dog is eating his breakfast. And uh, yeah, we freeze like this. We freeze his food in like this, uh, it's called a Kong. It's like a rubber thing. <laughs> and it takes him like half an hour to eat it. And usually by the time he's done, he's so tired out. So he uh, he just is dead asleep right after it. So this is a good time for me to record. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is potentially a time slot that I'm going to use again for a live stream because I know that this is going to be a consistent time that I'm free. Usually I try to do them a bit more afternoon my times, which might be a little late for some Europeans. I know I've done some 9 p.m. ones Eastern time, which is like the middle of the night for Europeans. So uh, I feel like this is a good time slot. We can get good good group of people in from across North America, across Europe and Asia, Africa, Oceania. So I'm thinking that this might be a, a good little time slot here. Um, but uh, hello, welcome. Shake Games, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Raid, hello. Hope you got enough sleep last night. And the legend, hello. Explain Canadian postal codes. I don't know. Uh, they're kind of like your zip codes in America, I believe. But um, I do know that in uh, Canada, we have a postcode for Santa Claus. It's called Ho Ho Ho. H zero H zero H zero. And uh, so you can mail Santa Claus. <laughs> so and it goes right to the North Pole. Um, but uh, hello, Flyvox. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope everyone is having a, a wonderful morning so far. There we go. Flyvox, I didn't realize you weren't a moderator on my channel. Now you are. Welcome. Skyline 6 moderating team. <laughs> That's how you can see them in the chat, I guess. Um, but we are working out in the area of Prattsburg. Um, and Dipsy Doodle, the farming areas. So um, definitely looking forward to this one. Uh, we've been working out here for a, a little while, uh, more than I expected, at least one more video than I expected. So um, in today's episode, we're just going to be kind of chatting and kind of finishing it off. And by finishing it off, I kind of am seeing us kind of build uh, one special thing, which I, I can't tease yet. I'm going to kind of throw it out right in the middle of the video. Uh, but... Uh, it's something to do with next episode because I've actually already re recorded the next episode, but I haven't shown you. So we're not going to go to the wards, the downtown core, but we're going to do something that ties it in. So that next episode, it's kind of like, you know, ties it together. Uh, but we'll be kind of doing some non DLC farms. And what are non DLC farms? Well, non DLC farms are kind of just like, oh, that is a DLC farm. Kind of like this, just like a house in some property. And I feel like they just add a ton of of uh you know a, a good look to the, to the neighborhoods and the towns and the edges of the rural areas so uh we have some more over here they just kind of make it seem a bit more realistic without having to throw in uh, a bunch of uh, potatoes and potatoes um so yeah i think that's where we're going to kind of do fill out this area uh all together but we're not going to go anywhere into, anywhere near downtown because i don't want to spoil anything um, but we have a lot of space out here um we have all this waterfront out this way uh, which is going to be a, like a dedicated video to kind of fill this whole space up. I'm going to really try and maximize uh, maximize the amount of time we have left um, in City Skylines 1 because once City Skylines 2 comes up, who knows what's going to happen, right? Uh, so we'll see about that. But yeah, this is kind of the plan for today. Uh, kind of touching in on all these little areas we hear. We have a ton of space out this way um, and you know, lots of forested areas. We can build some parks. Uh, I don't think we're going to add in another abandoned factory, but who knows? That's kind of a thing out this way. Um, but we'll also kind of maybe look towards uh, the oil industry a little bit and a maybe expand upon the Shukaboa-inspired 
uh, pipeline to the the pier. Uh, maybe expand out this way. Um, but uh, let's say hello to the chat here. Uh, so, good morning, Tim. Welcome. Thank you for uh, joining everyone. I know it's a bit of a, a new time slot for for me. But I appreciate that. Um, and uh, the legend says, how do Canadians say oot and hand? Well, oot, I guess, like oot and a boot. That's just more like a meme thing that Canadians say. Um, but uh, I do often catch myself saying out and about. Uh, but hand, do I say hand funny? Maybe it's more of a, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's not my, my accent that, that does that one. Um, but uh uh, Shuka says, uh, this is great with the delay, not bad, just a few seconds. Okay, uh, good to hear. That's not too bad. Um, and Flyvox says, this time works perfect for, for you. Oh, hey, See, this, is, this is what I was thinking. I was thinking that this time works great for Europeans. Um, so, yeah. All right, so uh, we are going to start off with expanding some DLC farms out this way. Just kind of building around the edges of Dipsy Doodle and um prattsburg but uh what do you need to do to do a non-dlc farm well sometimes i like to include some dlc assets like uh this what's it called again the farm maintenance building because you often see those on some farms oh actually this one is the farm i think we just used the farmhouse itself uh, but out over here we have some trees in the road so we should probably remove the trees in the road i don't think oh and the car just went right through it see in city skylines too Maybe we'd see a crash. That would be pretty cool. I'm really excited about those. Those would look really funny. I can definitely imagine some really funny moments uh, doing that. You know, just building your city and all of a sudden there's a huge accident or something like that. That would be really, really crazy. But I like to use um, this road here, the two-lane country road. And the two-lane country road fits perfectly as like a driveway. So you can bend them. You can curve them like a normal driveway. So why don't we try to do something like that? Uh, we can just bring it out maybe two units or something like that straight like that and then we'll just give it a bit of a curve out over here and there we go oh whoa that uh that's interesting what a what a driveway i don't think the driveway repavers did a good job there <laughs> so let's uh let's take one of these out there we go a lot better and then we can just uh maybe drag this node out a little bit more make it a bit more straight or something seem a bit more like a driveway there we go and then right here we can get a little teeny house uh, maybe let's go with like a three by two house this time and then why don't we actually just choose it and find it it's always good to just you know make that selection it's particularly because even though we have a ton of demand this isn't exactly the most desirable of property um, for the game mechanics so oh hey look at this house that's awesome let's do it hopefully it survives and we don't uh, need to do any jiggery pokery to uh, make it uh, make it work uh, but one thing that I've learned recently is with the the new parks that we've gotten uh, you can totally just throw in one of these little uh, things and look at that we have a little gazebo on the property and hopefully that should um, you know raise the land value a little bit and actually I like the gazebo on this one uh, because you know it's more of like an estate house here right so Maybe they have like a little gazebo, but maybe we just add in a bit of trees around here too. That'd be really cool. A bit more of like a forested area this way. We do have some fallen trees, so why not, right? We have some, uh, the, the terrain here is green too, so I think we could totally do something like that. And why don't we add in some more trees over here? These are some pretty big trees, but I think this is okay. All right, look at that. So technically this works, right? From a distance, it looks like a, a farm. And that's the whole point. We're trying to build out the rural parts of the farm area. But why don't we add in a fence? The fences are definitely key uh, to all this. So, you know, if you're depending on uh, this, the style of farm you want to do, the nature reserve fence works out great. But for this fancy farm, I think we're going to go with the farm fence itself. So how do we do this? Well, we can use the network multi-tool and go into the parallel roads mode. And we can just kind of click right along the property. We're not going to be able to do the entire thing um, because at one point it's just going to get too close to the nodes and the mods are going to freak out a little bit. Um, but that's okay. We can go to about here, click it in. Actually, I'm going to expand it a little bit. So I'm going to click click plus uh, on my screen here or my keyboard. And there we go. It's moving in a little bit away from the road. Click enter. 
and there we go. It is all clicked in here. And then we have the beautiful farm out this way. But let's uh, just finish off the fence here because I would totally go to the driveway at least, right? That would make sense. Turn off our guidelines, get a bit more of like a precision here. There we go. And then right here as well, just like that. Uh, so we need a name for this farm. And I'm just going to grab a park area. We're just going to click it right over top. And we got Holly City Park. So chat, let's name this park. We actually had a few name suggestions from uh, the comments. I'm sorry it took me a little while to get to the names, uh, the comments from last episode. Um, but we have Kenny Moore Estate and Fred Forest Farms. And we're keeping Robin Ranch uh, because we have a connection somewhere, uh, which I'll show you in a second. But uh, I need to read the chat because holy moly, things the chat's been popping off, as they say. <laughs> so um, let's see. Where are we here? Um, and... Uh, Raid is listening from, uh, driving to work, so she'll be listening. Hello, Raid. Have a safe drive at work. And, um, yeah, hopefully everything goes well at work today. I'm excited for the weekend. Uh, and in case you haven't seen on the Discord, I guess this would be uh, some news here. We're going to have a double feature on Sunday with Skyland 6, where Raid is going to have, uh, their video premiere, uh, slightly before, um, Cityzilla's video, which will uh, be on Sunday as well. So, uh, double feature of Skyline 6. Skyline 6 weekend. We have some big news as well. So, perhaps if you haven't uh, seen a certain short that has been going around, a YouTube short that has been going around, definitely check it out. Uh, we have some big news with Skyline 6. So, definitely, definitely check those out. They're on all of our channels. So, you can find it there. Um, but Chris is working from home on Friday. Heck yeah. Same here. Uh, that's why we can do this. Um, I usually work from home three days a week. It's pretty nice. Uh, but, uh, you know, going to the office, it's a good time. Um, uh, I always like going downtown. It's always nice to kind of see the hustle and bustle. Um, but, um, Eternal Gaming. Hello. Hope you are doing well today. And the legend has a name suggestion for us. Stern Von Allen Farms. Love it. Fantastic. That's a very like regal name too for that, uh, that property. Um, okay, so we'll exit out of that. And let's continue with the chat here. Uh, oh, the U.S. Bureau of Employment History is here. Everyone be on their best behavior. If you're American, I guess. For me, not so much. <laughs> I'm Canadian, so I get away with it. Uh, so, uh, Brian Cameron, hello. Brian Cameron uh, sent us the inspiration for the canal um, and detailing it up somewhat like uh, the canal in uh, Nova Scotia connecting um, uh, Cape Breton and the mainland part of Nova Scotia. Uh, so, uh, Raid Kitty says, Stephen, do you usually uh, eat a homemade lunch or eat out? If so, where? Uh, so, when I'm at work, uh, I usually bring a, a lunch from home, so a homemade lunch. And depends on what it is. Uh, my, my partner and I, we like creating like uh, some pretty cool lunches and stuff like that, changing it up every single uh, week. But uh, we have like a a good classic, which is just like a pasta salad in like a mason jar. Really easy. Just keep it in the fridge. Don't need to wait for the microwave. The microwaves are always, uh, you know, you got to wait for microwaves a lot <laughs> at work. So it's good to just have like a cold meal. But yeah, pasta salad is, is a clutch, uh, clutch uh, lunch meal. Um, but uh, yeah, the other day I decided to figure out how to make bread for the first time. I tried to make like hoagie rolls, as they say in Philadelphia. Um, and it didn't turn out that, that well. They were just kind of more like balls of bread, um, but it was delicious. So I'm going to try and work on that because it'd be nice to make your own hoagie rolls. But uh, when I'm at work, my office isn't around anything fun. So I just, that's why I usually just bring lunch because, you know, Subway is, is not the my favorite. So that's the only place <laughs> around me. Uh, but uh, sometimes I work in downtown where there's tons of more options, but uh, 
you know, lunch is expensive. Um, and Shuka says that they've been to the Cape Breton Canal. So, hey, does it look somewhat the same? That would be, uh, you know, you've been there. Uh, Brian Cameron's been there. So hopefully hopefully it worked out um, and, and whatnot. But uh, thank you. Fast forward. I'm glad you like it. Uh, the legend says, is Steven 26? I don't think anyone knows my age. Do I even know my age? I don't know. Um, but my dog is almost two. So I'll, I'll share that. <laughs> um, and uh, Stephen, will you go to the beaches? Uh, the beaches? Whereabouts? Which beaches? Um, because, uh, well, in Ottawa, there are some beaches. But it is on a river. So after rain, a lot of rain washes down stuff from the, from the hills and the streets into the water. So they, al they always uh, um, close the the beaches in Ottawa for, because of that. So if there's like, if it's not a rainy summer, then the beaches in Ottawa are really nice. We have a couple, there's like a few like fake lakes uh, in the city off of the Rideau Canal. And there's also some on the, uh, the Ottawa River itself, um, which is really, really cool. Um, the Ottawa River, I've recently learned, is the deepest river in North America. It's also extremely cold uh, that Ottawa has the coldest tap water in North America. Like, it's ice cold when it comes out. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, but uh, let's see. Uh, we're hyping up sourdough here in the chat, and I agree. I I love bread. I'm a bread guy. Um, so I definitely got to figure out how to make a starter. I'm about two years, three years too late on the, um, on the sourdough game here. So I definitely got to catch up on that. Uh, because I, I love bread. We, I made a starter, and I think I killed it a little bit before I made my, my hoagie rolls, which is probably what did it in. Um, but uh, Jason Meyer says, explain Quebec road designations. Uh, like uh, like what? Um, I think we talked about this last live stream. Um, like uh, Quebec roads are just the same as in uh, the rest of the world, but their French names are, are unique, I guess. Uh, but we use some of them in the English language, like Boulevard and Avenue. Uh, those are French words. Um, but let's see. Uh, we're hyping up Blink-182 in the chat too. Yeah. That was definitely a, uh, a band of my youth, however long ago that was. Um, all right. So let's, uh, let's hop back into the game here after that chat uh, discussion. Um, but, oh, yeah. So we had Robin Farms over here. Uh, which a uh, Robin Ranch, sorry, which has all the potatoes and potatoes, and with their prime real estate, they must be rather wealthy. Um, right downtown in uh, Dipsy Doodle, a uh, beautiful, beautiful property. So, what could a, a ranch that has this much significance in the in the community do? Well, perhaps they donated a park, and perhaps they donated a dog park. So that is why we over here we have Robin Lane Dog Park. Um, but I was thinking maybe we could do something else with uh, the fact that maybe they're really big into dogs. So why don't we go all the way back to uh, Robin Ranch. And we have this little property out over here. And why don't we make like uh, part of this a dog park or something like that. So we do technically have this being a road. And maybe they say that this is an off-leash dog park or something like that. Maybe, you know, the, the family really likes dogs and they're like, well, we have this piece of land. We don't really necessarily need to use it, so we will have a bit of a, a dog park on it. So why don't we do that? We'll uh, we'll bring this out a little bit more, and we'll say this is a totally off-leash dog park, um, but we need to actually have like a little teeny dog park area itself. Um, so where is the dog park again? Is this it? Nope, that's not it. Where is the dog park? Oh, it's right here. My goodness. Um, but I always like to include a t like a dog park like this inside of um my dog park builds because you know sometimes with the big dogs little dogs are a little scared right so uh it's nice to have like some space where you can let off the little dogs and the big dogs can run around um so yeah maybe let's add a few rocks in here too that's a bit too big yeah we'll kind of add them right on the end of the road here so maybe in the winter when it's all covered in snow although this is a british columbia themed uh city so perhaps there's not a ton of snow at all times here, but 
definitely seen these around in the dog friendly areas just kind of like rocks blocking off where the road kind of ends so i think that would be cool if we could include that and then we'll add in a few trees too uh, we'll go with just like some larger pine trees um let's go with uh, oh my goodness where is it it's okay we can use this one and we'll just throw in a couple of these then we don't want to do too much because we're going to eat up into the uh, fertile land but we'll just add in a few um, but uh, you know the fertile land is fine because it's underneath uh, the farms that really matters um, so we'll just add in a couple maybe in a, a few more through here always good doesn't need to be even all right fantastic so yes yeah, so we lost uh, some uh, fertile land over here but look at that robin ranch dog park fantastic let's head over to uh the uh, the chat here um and oh on parle français dans la chat maintenant oui français <laughs> uh and uh shuka said uh it's real boulevard and avenue uh, in case you don't read french uh and um and sommelier says uh hello steven how are you i'm fine i'm glad to hear that you're doing well sommelier uh, don't worry, we're going to get back to the downtown builds next week. Uh, I know, Sommelier, you've liked the, the downtown stuff, but I'm hiding it right now because I may have already recorded an episode that's going to come out next week. I haven't edited it yet, um, but uh, we'll be doing that uh, next week. So I just want to show it because I don't want to spoil it. Um, but uh, hey, we have a, a zone right here called Pearl Zone. It's a beautiful little house right here. Ooh, that's actually incredibly beautiful. Let's make sure we keep that one. Um, and they have a little farm area over here too, but it's called Pearl Zone. It doesn't seem the most farm-like, so uh, I think we need a name for the Pearl Zone. Uh, so let's see if we can get that in the chat. Uh, so we have Olive Center here. This is a pretty big farm area. I think we need to detail it up a little bit more. Let's uh, maybe remove some of these like sporadic trees, add in a few more in the corners here. I always like doing that. It's always uh, it seems a bit realistic to do. You know, the people leave the trees on the side of their property. And particularly over here because we have an unfortunate building over here right close to Olive Center, which also needs a name. Um, so maybe we can try and hide it a little bit with some trees here. That would be good. So we'll just try and kind of mimic where we have trees already. Just expand the forest. And then we definitely should probably add some trees around this building and hide it from the street because I don't think many people want to see uh, this building here. Although it's uh, doing good right now uh, for creating animal products, at least. Um, okay, we have a bit more uh, trees over here that we can definitely add in. But I definitely see a forest brush tool being really helpful um, when doing a non-industries DLC farms. So we can get a few more trees out this way. Yeah, that's good. All right, uh, Flybox is going into heavy lurk mode. Have a good one. And uh enjoy your friday everyone and uh happy friday if you're just waking up uh like i was just waking up the other or a little while ago uh, but it's pretty early for me still uh, all right so we have this zone in here and you know i think we're due for a bit of a smaller suburban expansion uh just like a couple streets you know that have a few houses on them you definitely see that uh, pretty often in these kind of areas and this street here is pretty prime for it right it's right downtown or sorry it's right on the main street here or a secondary street really um, but we have kind of like an open uh, area over here we have this uh, farming area through here we could kind of add it onto that that would be pretty cool um, but uh, we also have this big open space here before we get to our uh, highway patrol area um, so i'm thinking we kind of uh, remove the props like the fallen trees because you know a developer would wouldn't just leave fallen trees everywhere uh, so we'll click uh, props in move it and we'll just kind of scroll over like that and we'll just take out the trees that way uh, very easy very fast um, should we have an old time farmhouse through here I think we should uh, and then we'll kind of split up the property like as if the um, uh, uh, the uh, the farmer sold the land at some point um, so where should we get the driveway? I think we should get the driveway off of here. So we'll just uh, go from right about here. Why not? And we'll go maybe four blocks or four units. Four squares. Ah, let's go. Let's go six squares. That's pretty good. And then we'll just do a bit of a sharp curve uh, right here like that. 
And that's pretty cool. And then, then let's get like a nice uh, big house because, you know, they sold their property. So they must have gotten a lot of, a lot of money, right? Uh, so let's go three by three here and let's find a nice big house uh, for them. Um, well, actually, I think we sh might need to stick with uh, European suburbia because I think we're in European suburbia kind of territory here. Um, so let's see. Hmm. Maybe we can just let it come in and we'll just throw in like a little park right here. Uh, beside it and then that'll definitely raise the land value and then bada bing bada boom we got a house <laughs> so we'll just plop it in right here oh hey a pond that's pretty cool we haven't done that yet uh we will kind of roll with that then look at that right away big pond right here we could even get a second one uh out over this way too and we can maybe make it like a, a garden this time uh yeah there we go so it's like a community garden they're growing their pumpkins and their lettuce and whatnot but uh, if we just uh, grab it with move it again, we can just bring it right out over here. And because these have a nice big hitbox for where they can be, we can place it right beside it. Uh, the, the house itself doesn't even need to be too, too close to the road itself. And look at that. It looks like a side garden for the property, uh, which is really nice. Don't want to get it too close to the... Oh, nice. We actually have a lot of space then. It means we can bring it right up here. Very cool. Very cool. That is a nice house. Let's keep it. Um, but we need a name for this one too. I know I've been, haven't been looking at the chat in case there are other name suggestions for these, uh, properties here, but, uh, let's select this. I'm just using the park area here to do this and we'll do the same thing with this one. We'll expand this farm. There we go. And, uh, what the heck? Oh, cool. There's a little teeny house right here. Oh, it's going to get rebuilt anyways. Um, but, uh, Oh, it's because ah, because it is European suburbia, and I didn't place down a European suburbia house. Uh, there we go. Well, that happens. So Smith Park, um, let's make sure that we add in uh, the fences, because that's really, really important to do. And uh, we'll start from right about here. We'll just do this one manually, because we're going to stop it right about here. And we'll bring this one right across. Sorry for the quick camera movement there. We'll bring this one right down. And this will be their remaining property after they sold off uh, some of their area here to some developers. And we'll just kind of get some more trees and whatnot, just like we talked about. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe get some more trees out over here too. Very nice. Huge property, Smith Park. Well, you know what? Maybe we just go with uh, something like Smith Smith Farm, I guess. Why not? <laughs> A little simple, but that's okay. Uh, let's uh, put ourselves in a little cool view here of the... Of the area and then oh don't want to show the downtown uh there we go um and then we'll look at the chat here um all right all right where were we my goodness uh shuka says i got seven more minutes before i need to lurk i only have one monitor unfortunately so i can't double test that's okay shuka thank you so much for for joining uh definitely appreciate it hope you have a lovely weekend and robo horror says did, I, did you read my comment i have not uh i might have missed it um, uh, will you pinpoint uh, C word? Uh, well, we're going to save all the small towns for another day. We're focusing on um, uh, finishing off Dipsy Doodle in Prattsburg here with uh, some local farm areas and uh, maybe something else in a little bit. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. Um, and uh, USB Bureau of Employment History says, just wanted to say thanks for the chill vibes. Very good way to start the day. Your community rocks. Uh, heck yeah, the CS community is incredible. I uh, definitely love it. And, you know, we're going into Skyline 6 weekend here. So definitely more to come. And I hope you have a chill Friday with some great vibes going into it. Hope you get to enjoy your Friday night and your weekend as well. <laughs> um, and let's see. Uh, yeah, so we're, we'll save C, uh, C word for... Uh, another day because I have uh, a couple other spots for some small towns. Um, and uh, Rebel Horror says, will you return to Fort Prairie? No, Fort Prairie's broken. Um, I it removed all the detailing entirely. We did a ton of detailing um, in that city. So uh, a little while ago, we canceled it. Um, but uh, you were sticking with Oracle Valley because we only have a few more months, literally two months, because I think City Skylines 2 comes out um on october 24th well it's august 25th so 
Uh, we need to make sure that we finish off Oracle Valley. We have a lot to do still. Um, and I, plus I have a few maybe potential unique videos that are going to come out soon um, in between those times. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Shake says off to work. Have a good Friday. Have a good Friday, Shake. Enjoy your day. And uh, um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, last name suggestion was Markellis Farmer's Market. Okay, so we got to do a farmer's market. That'll be next. Uh, definitely good. Brian Cameron says Oakdale Farm. Uh, heck yeah, let's throw an Oakdale Farm. Um, I'll have it right here because there's lots of oaks, right? <laughs> there's lots of trees over here. So we'll go Oak uh, Dale Farm. Love it. Uh, so, yeah, with all those trees there, it's got to be Oakdale Farm. Um, and uh, the close call with the camera. Yes, I definitely don't want to show the downtown. Uh, it'll definitely be a huge spoiler. Maybe if you're, you know, really keep your eyes on the screen and you're like know where the downtown is at all times. The downtown is uh, right up here on the screen. So if you keep your eyes on it, you might see a little hint in case I mess up. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's do the, the farmer's market next. So uh, why don't we go um, somewhere close-ish uh, to the downtown? Um, or maybe we go into Prattsburg for, for this because... Uh, in Prattsburg, I don't think we have a farmer's market. Oh, no, we do. Okay, we have a farmer's market over here. And then, yeah, it's just a little teeny one, though. So, yeah, let's let's go uh, get a farmer's market out in Dipsy Doodle. Where should the farmer's market be? Perhaps uh, over here. We could make, like, a farmer's market out this way. And then maybe we'll do the uh, development, the new development out that way. Yeah, that'd be cool because maybe people can come in from, like, the other rural areas or something like that or other farms out in the great unknown um, and we could kind of do that so oh there's a tree in the road that's always good <laughs> um, so I think to do a farmers market uh, you know I if you want a good farmers market build go to Joy's channel Joy's incredible with her farmers markets um, but let's go with a road uh, let's go with like a dirt road that's always fun and we'll go off of this road here because I don't want to go off of this one or maybe we do go right here because we have a path right here. That would be useful. Um, yeah, let's do that. Talk myself into it. And we'll go about six units uh, out into here. And then maybe we go pavement on this part, actually. Um, yeah, and then we'll go dirt road from that point on. And we'll just kind of go out in this direction. And we'll do like some tiny little curves through here. Yeah, I think that that would be cool. Okay, and then we need a parking lot. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, but we have a couple different parking lots that we could use. We could use something like uh, like this, or we could use like the vanilla ones. But I think we need to use something like this. I think that'd be cool. Let's go with like a six by four, maybe. Uh, that's probably too big. Uh, three by, uh, maybe a two by. No, 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 no. I don't know what size to do to be honest. But we'll uh, we'll find it once uh, we see it. Five by three. That's probably pretty good. Eh, maybe not, because how do you get into that parking lot if you're coming in off of uh, the new road we just did, right? So I know that some of these 6x3s actually have... Yeah, there we go. That's pretty cool. So we'll bring this one right in to the, the pavement part right here like that. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, maybe we could even add like a bit of a fence area too uh, around it. Yeah, let's do that little fence. We'll go with like an iron fence this time. Um, and we need to turn off our guidelines so we can get real precise. And we'll go right here across. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Um, but then we'll just come right back across through here. And do we need it to go all the way? No, I don't think so. I think we just need it to protect the, the road here. Um, I think that would be useful. Just like that. All right. So now we have this little farmer's market area, and I believe if we're in the right uh, zone here, we should have um, the farmer's market options, which I believe we have in Prattsburg Farms District. Uh, so yeah, let's make sure we bring Prattsburg Farms out this way. Do a little farmer's market area uh, through here. And uh, what do you need to do a farmer's market? Well, you need the market stands, right? So uh, let's make sure that we have that available. Uh, and... 
let's see. We go in to find it. And then we go in to here and we go select uh, the farming industry. Oh, no, not the farming industry. My goodness. See, it's early in the morning for me. I uh, forget things pretty easily in the morning, <laughs> apparently. Um, but uh, yeah, look at this. Beautiful. Oh, wrong one. Let's go four by one. I think there's a there's one in particular that would be perfect for that. Four by one. There we go. Yeah, just like that. Very good. Let's click that in. Pause the game. Maybe we should probably have put down some zoning first because I don't have just ploppable Rico. Uh, but uh, we'll just kind of do this really quickly through here. Um, let's see. What else do we need? Let's uh, go, maybe go something with a two by something, perhaps. Uh, Got to be farmer's market like. So let's see. Two. No, two by one, maybe. Was it this one here? One of these looks like a good farmer's market. See, I think this looks a bit too built up. I'm thinking more just along the lines of... Um, actually, this one could be cool right here, right beside the, the parking lot itself. Um, but the parking lot is getting a little close, though. So maybe we can squeeze it back a little bit more. I don't think a car would park right there if there was a building right here. But we'll let it come in, and we'll see what happens. Um, and we'll just continue on, and then we'll, I'll uh, pick up the chat in a second. Uh, but uh, let's maybe go uh, one by twos, maybe, perhaps. Is there something there? Yeah, this is the one I was looking for. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and then maybe a one by one right beside it. Oh, I think I just deleted it. Yeah, let's pause the game while we're doing this, Steven. There we go. Uh, one by one, and then we'll get this little teeny one right here. Yeah, very good. Uh, so now let's set this up here. Do -do -do, just like that. Click them in. Historical, historical and historical make sure this one is historical too it is nice so all these ones come in and we'll just you know you just walk down here get your farmer's market stuff and then we'll have like a little teeny path uh running right down the side here uh from here for people that want to walk through it from this intersection uh we'll go around the trees oh i'll fix that up in a second you just got to grab the node here and wherever that was there it is there we go. And then we need a few little rocks here because these little rocks will definitely make sure that we know that this is the end of the road um, for cars, at least. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's disappointing. There's a hearse right there. <laughs> so I forgot water, of course. Uh, classic Steven. Uh, oh, we just barely forgot water here. There we go. All right. So let's finish up here and then I'll take a look at the chat. Um, so do we need zoning on this road? I don't think we do, which means we get a bit more space out this way. Um, and I don't think I'm going to put anything out over here, uh, but let's just get a few more of these market buildings and, uh, let's see, don't like those ones particular, maybe a three by one situation here. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Love that. And, uh, we already did four by ones. We can add in a few more one by ones, uh, but two by some things. Let's see anything in particular that jumps out as a very farmer's market like uh, not really but I do know that there are things that pop up so maybe we can just throw these two down in here and we'll see what pops up if it's a building then we're not gonna keep it um, but uh, yeah and then we definitely need some picking tables actually you know what I don't like this plan I'm gonna call a bit of a mulligan here because uh, people need places to eat their uh, fresh produce and maybe just chillax a little bit right so why don't we go and add in some of these tiny parks these ones are really, really cool. Um, so we could go with that one, but there's one in particular. This one, I think, has a bunch of benches and stuff. Yeah, that's really cool. I think this is what we need right here. We'll maybe turn it in a little bit like that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. All right. And then maybe we have another one of these tiny parks. These definitely, definitely add a lot to an area. We could even go farmer's mark, uh, the, the, the little garden here, but I'm thinking we need a little gazebo. We can turn it like this, put them together. Very cool. All right, little farmer's market area. We'll add in a few more trees too. Oh no, we lost it. Why did we lose it? Because I didn't put the zoning down. That happens. <laughs> so three by one, I think it was. There we go. And we'll make it historical. And then why don't we add in like a particular tree or two um, through here? Yeah. This will definitely round it out a little bit. 
Very, very good. All righty. So, I think maybe we can bring this fence down a little bit. Just like that. All right. Now we're on to the little development area. Uh, now, uh, just so you know, we do have a very, very hard cutoff of 9 a.m. Eastern time because that is when I got to get to work. So, <laughs> just a fair warning. Uh, so we got about an hour left. Uh, but let's uh, let's catch from the chat. Holy, holy moly! Oh, and we need to name this. Okay, so we need to name this uh, area with a little bit of a park zone. And it is going to be called Markellis Farmers Markets. Awesome, awesome. Um, and we'll uh, continue reading the chat here. So let's get ourselves in a cool view of, of the town, maybe with the Farmers Market in mind now. There we go. And are we simming? There we go. All right. Um, and uh, Upset Koala says, hello, Stephen. I love watching your videos. Thank you so much for joining uh, the, the stream today. I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoy it. Um, it's definitely fun making, and I'm glad to hear that people enjoy watching. And uh, Shuka says they're officially in lurk mode, um, so enjoy the lurking. <laughs> Um, and uh, Rebel Horror says, explain what Rue and Chimay are, and uh, will you implement them uh, in a town? So uh, Rue is the uh, French word for road, and Chimay is the French word for street. So when you're uh, you know, going through Quebec or France or any other French-speaking town or uh, area, they'll probably use those words uh, when they're talking about the streets. Uh, thank you, Ray. Don't forget to like the stream. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, don't forget to, to like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting really close to a huge milestone on the channel, um, but it'd be, not, it'd, re it'd be really cool to hit that before uh, Skylines 2 comes out. Uh, I think we're about 60 away from a big milestone, uh, which would be fun. I'll definitely have something special planned for when we hit that milestone. Uh, and uh, Ray Kitty is at the stadium at, at their job. Time to pull the tarp off the field. Hope everything's okay. Uh, hope you have a good one, Raid. Enjoy your day, uh, and we'll chat soon. Uh, Brian Cameron says, hydration is important. Drink your water, uh, just like I forgot to put in the water through here in the farmer's market, but definitely drink some water. This is your reminder. Drink some water. So I'll do the same. Um, heck yeah. So. Uh, U.S. Bureau of Employment History said didn't learn to, uh, didn't expect to learn some basic French this morning, but very fun. Uh, glad you like it. We can have a French stream if you want. If we have a lot of French speaking people, we can uh, do a whole French stream. Um, I'm not going to say it's going to be good, but I'll try my darndest. I'm at least fluent. I understand French 100%, um, but uh, speaking it, sometimes I'm a little slow with speaking French. All right, so we got to do a development, and we've claimed this area here for development. Uh, now, we have an industrial road through here. We're probably going to need to upgrade that uh, once we build out this development. But what should we do for this area? Well, I'm thinking we just need just like a basic little road here. We'll go with a road with parking, because why not? Uh, and, you know, sometimes you see it where the road is like right beside the property line. Or sometimes you want to see the houses backed onto the property line. So I'm thinking we're going to go down that route a little bit. We'll go right here, and we'll just go straight, make sure our guidelines are on. And we could just cut right across through here. That would be cool. Uh, but then I don't want people cutting through here. I wanted them to use the, the actual road itself, so maybe not. Uh, maybe we'll go something, we'll create like a bit of a tiny neighborhood, a tiny community. So we'll go 12 units in like that, and then maybe we'll go from here, we go another 12 units in. Okay, cool. And then why don't we use uh, the network multi-tool and we'll go like uh, create connection and we'll just create the, this connection here like that. Perfect. A cool little curve through here like that. That's always nice. Um, but then we'll just ban uh, trucks on it instead. So um, we need to go into TMPE for that, which is a mod, a uh, fantastic mod if you have the option available to you. And we'll just uh, select this whole street. 
I don't know if I'm doing it right. That's okay. I was holding shift down. Uh, and we'll just ban trucks. And hopefully that stops trucks from, from going on it. Uh, but we definitely need a couple cul-de-sacs coming off of this road. So from these nodes, uh, we will bring this out uh, to about here. Yeah, we'll just throw it out to about there for now. And this one, we'll just bring it out to about here. Very cool. I think that's all we really need. I don't want this to be too busy of an area. Uh, but we definitely need like a some sort of pathway connecting these areas together are these streets together so we'll just do something like that silly like that but that works and then uh, maybe we do like a sneaky little path uh, right through here uh, connecting this road up right here alongside that like that and then just in like so and then we'll do the same thing we'll just con connect this one right up maybe just people have done this there this isn't actually like a planned path at all this is just like a desire path um, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool. We should probably think about upgrading some of these roads. Now this one, I don't think we need to upgrade at all. It's not necessarily a busy road at all, but, uh, why don't we upgrade this one here? Um, so we'll upgrade this one with no parking on the side of it. And it'll just be a normal road just right up to that point. Yeah. Very cool. All right. And then now let's take out the trees. So we'll just, uh, up the size here a little bit, take out the trees. We'll put them back. Don't worry, but we just got to get these um buildings in all right let's make sure we get this to actually connect up here very cool very cool uh now i don't think we're gonna get any commercial buildings out this way this is a purely um residential area uh now this is i believe in the prattsburg farms district so uh, it's gonna be european suburbia which is cool but actually maybe we want to cut that off maybe we want this to be like a bit more of a modern area um, I like using European suburbia as a bit of older style homes, especially when we're building like a Canadian themed city. Um, definitely, uh, you know, European suburbia is like a, a classic older style Canadian home. So uh, particularly out in British Columbia, too, because uh, British Columbia is uh, only really settled in the last 150 years uh, by uh, by, you know, settler communities. Um, but let's uh, let's go out to about here. Um, I, actually, let's maybe remove this area here. And we go larger house right there. Yeah, something like this, actually. That'd be cool. I like leaving spaces between the homes when we're doing something like this because, um, you know, when you see houses out this way, they usually have some space in between them. Uh, let's go into the zoning adjuster mod, which is just right here. I just click Z. I don't know what it is going to be on your end if you... Uh, um, if you download this mod, but I just click Z and it often confuses me. Um, but uh, we won't need to prioritize older roads here. Or newer roads. Ah, wrong way. Prioritize older roads, which is this one, Scott Street here. Uh, because I wanted to make sure that we had some larger houses on this street as well. Um, so why don't we go with like a huge house right here? Maybe not that big. Something like that works. We'll do this right here too. And then we'll do a larger one here and here and here. And then we'll just continue it down. But we don't need zoning on this street. So we'll take this off just like that. Yeah, that's good. All right. And let's actually just play with the game on because we might not need to uh, do too, too much to get these houses in here. Yeah, I think that works. Actually, let's uh, get it a bit farther away from the road there. Uh, yeah, that works out great. And there's a glitch right here. <laughs> Weird. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go from here then. And we'll get a house right there. And then we'll go a bit bigger houses. And we'll just kind of do something like this. I think this is always cool to do. Uh, and then right here, we're going to leave a space from the main road and do the same thing. Large houses. Uh, this is kind of the, the idea. I would definitely imagine that developers building out this way would kind of see it the same way at least. Um, so yeah, something like that. And then we'll get one house right here. Yeah. How about that? Um, all right. And now we can fill in the rest with trees. Now that we kind of know, uh, about where roughly where those houses are. Very cool. And then once we're done this, I'll look at the chat again. 
All right, fill this in, fill this in. Cool, all right. So uh, now that we're getting some houses here, I was gonna say we need to use some of these tiny parks. These tiny parks are incredible to get uh, people out this way. So let's just click this in like that. And a little gazebo, why not? Very cool, we'll just slide it in right here. Look at that, it's connected up. Now, is it clipping into this? No, it's not, nice. Little gazebo area right there, fantastic. Uh, and then maybe we can get one more just to um, include. And where could this next one be? Right here on this little corner, a uh, little pond. That's pretty cool. I think I could see a little pond right here. Oh my goodness, we need water, of course. All right, one second. Uh, there we go. And uh, let's get some water going. If you're new to the channel, I uh, going into you know this series, uh, and whatnot. I forgot water so often and this is back in the day when I would not even edit my videos I would just kind of like True let's play style uh, Just building as uh, as we see uh, but I would always forget water and uh, it would always kind of delay uh, <laughs> the video its outcome uh, But there we go. We're getting a bit of an expansion out in dipsy doodle. I think that's really nice uh, you often see these little kind of suburban developments pop up on the edges of um, tiny towns like this, uh, particularly if they're close to some services and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, I think it is. So let's uh, kind of pause the video here and read the chat a little bit. I think we've kind of filled out the majority of the farming areas. And let's uh, let's take a look at the chat. So um, let's see, let's see. Uh, Shuka says, boo work, see us forever, 100%. Uh, that'd be cool if... Uh, if we can ever get to a point where, you know, Skyline 6 is all of our main jobs, uh, that'd be awesome. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, and uh, U.S. Bureau of Employment History says, my brain is at 25%. It's only 6.52 a.m. Uh, my goodness, that is early. I hope you enjoy your, your first coffee or tea or caffeinated beverage of choice. Um, definitely the first one of the day is always my favorite. Uh, and... Uh, do, do, do. Oh, I'm past where we uh, left off the comments before. Uh, Eternal Gaming says, I love Network Multi-Tool so much. I 100% agree. And, uh, you know, USB or Employment History said, I think uh, I use Network Multi-Tool more than, than Move It. Both are great tools. TMP is, a, is another must-have. Uh, definitely, I agree with all, all of that. Um, those are probably my three of my favorite mods. The Network Multi-Tool changed my game, in, like, so much. I just love the fact that you can do the parallel kind of roads you can have the um add nodes subtract nodes uh what else the sloping is like the main thing sloping roads is just incredible i love it so much uh definitely makes things look a lot nicer but when you use it in junction with like node controller and you can slope the nodes itself too incredible incredible difference uh flybox is back from the lurk welcome back flybox hope you have had a good afternoon or morning um, yeah, hope you had a good morning and looking forward to your afternoon. Uh, and um, do do do, Zlorg, yo, this streamer rocks. Heck yeah, Zlorg. Uh, thank you for joining. Zlorg is uh, my gaming buddy in uh, in real life. We we uh, are MLG farming simulator gamers together. <laughs> uh, I wish that'd be epic. Uh, um, but uh, let's see. Back to the chat. Back to the chat. Uh, and uh, Tulsa Fine says a bit late, but I hope the stream has been great. Thank you very much. This has been a ton of fun so far. This morning stream is uh, is a challenge for me a little bit because uh, you know it's pretty early. Um, woke up extra early today too. Uh, but is what it is. Uh, and I'm hoping that this is going to be like a regular time slot for a live stream at the end of every month uh, because this is usually when I record my videos. Um, and. Uh, let's get back to some of these chats here. Uh, Flybox says they also forget to place water. It's, it's you know, with the 81 tiles mod too now, you can just allow the roads to be like, have the pipes underneath them automatically and you don't actually need to place it. And I think that's pretty cool, but um, I don't know. I kind of like forgetting. <laughs> I kind of like the meme a little bit, right? Uh, so, uh, and let's go through it. Brian Cameron says they're moving in to the uh, subdivision. Glad you like it. We'll go take a peek at it in a second. We'll add in some more trees now that it's all built up. 
And uh, Legend says, did you forget about my suggestion of DD? Oh my goodness. What? Is, which one is, uh, is that one again? Um, write it in the chat just again. Uh, and uh, Legend says, name the sub subdivision Granby. I think I can do that. So let's uh, throw, go into a park mode here. And we'll just throw it into here, just like that. Doesn't need to be perfect. And we'll just call it Granby Developments. Very good. All right. And look at that. We have all the space that we can add in some more trees in here for Brian Cameron's house. We'll find the nicest house right here and we'll name it Brian Cameron's house. Which one is the nicest one? These houses need to develop a little bit more. Look at this one. Yes, look at that. Got a garage right here, right beside the pond. There we go, Brian Cameron's house right here. Look at that, beautiful. Probably a stucco wall right here. Look at that, got a pool. Heck yeah, Brian Cameron. <laughs> so, um, uh, Legend says the suggestion of naming every street in uh, Dipsy Doodle after Dr. Seuss characters, oh hey. Throw your Dr. Zeus characters out uh, in the chat, and we can uh, throw in those name suggestions right in there. Um, all right, so look at that. We're pretty much done building out all the farms. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and I think we can go off to that thing that I mentioned at the beginning of, this, of the episode that I had an idea. I didn't want to spoil it uh, in the beginning of the video because you got to watch through the stream to see it, right? Uh, so... so uh, this is going to tie into next episode, so this is a bit of a teaser for next episode. Uh, but right over here, we have a tram line that connects up right through here and a bus station right through here. And we have a tunnel that connects, a pedestrian tunnel that connects uh, right up into here where we have our train station. We also have a BRT right through here, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but we might do a, some other transit revisions off camera down the line here. But, you know, this piece of land is some prime real estate. It is right in front of Prospect Station. So what could we do out this way that would, you know, see the need for maybe a tram coming out this way and maybe seeing a bit more realism as to why the city and the municipality and the province might have funded uh, a tram line to this small town where BRT is probably more than enough in, in uh, the realistic Canadian sense? Well, what if we had a university out this way? So... Uh, in the next build, we place down... Ah, oh, why did I click garbage? There we go. Education. In the next build, uh, we have a university built. And where where is it? Here's the university. And uh, there's one building that I didn't place down for a reason. And it's the uh, School of Science. So we're going to build the School of Science out this way. So we'll have like a bit of an off-campus out this way. So um, yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. And you know what? Uh, I'm just going to hide my screen for a second here while I do this. Let's see if this works. Yes, it did work because I don't want you all to see uh, the, the campus build. So I'm here. I'm talking to you. The stream's not over. The stream's not over. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just dragging the campus area out this way because I forgot to do this before the episode. Um, so we're just dragging it out, dragging it out. All right. All right. We're good. Let's go back uh, to the game here. Whew. Stream is not over. Do not panic. Heck yeah, Shuka. All right, so we're in the game again. Look at that. We have the campus area this way. Wow, magic. Look at that. Like nothing ever happened. Um, so, so uh, and then I'll I'll clean it up off camera because I don't want you all to see it. But uh, there we go. It never, never happened. So here's the campus area. We have uh, out this way. We have a little teeny area right through here beside the dedicated bus route that connects up to our bus depot over here, our local bus depot, uh, and it goes right up into the station here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're going to do this. And where should we get the main kind of road for this off of? Well, I'm thinking this road here. This one goes right into uh, Oracle Bay. So I'm thinking if we continue this one, we can get this to be like a, a main street of the campus. So why don't we use just a normal road? And uh, we'll just drag this out right through here 
probably just kind of dead ended right here, but I forgot to take the darn trees out of the area. So we got to make sure we do that. Let's go into move it, double click on the, the, uh, the props here. There we go. And we'll just select all of this and we'll just delete that. Very awesome. Um, so let's remove these trees with the forest brush and we're just going to remove them temporarily. Um, we'll make sure we don't hit the diner too much. The diner area is set. We're not changing the diner. And look at that. We missed two trees. We'll take those out manually. Um, and everyone's doing eyes emojis in the chat. <laughs> um, and, uh, and yeah, all right. Glad that uh, y'all like this, uh, this idea here. Okay, sweet. Um, all right. So we need to have the school of medicine out this way. Now, how are we going to do this? We don't need to necessarily have the street run that in that direction either. We can turn it and curve it and whatnot. Um, but this is Lilith, Lilith street. So why don't we make sure that we bring the name in, which I believe is named after David's dog. So, uh, all right, let's, if, I, if I'm mistaken, uh, but, uh, that's okay. Uh, it was definitely a name suggestion, at least. But let's go into here again, and we'll have the School of Medicine, um, or School of Science. And my goodness, this is a big school. Okay, I definitely want it more along the lines of on an angle. Uh, but yeah, so I think we're going to have to turn it. So let's uh, pause really quickly, pull this back, and then we'll just grab the road again. And then right off of here, I think we should get a 90 degree angle road off of that street, kind of like this. And hopefully it fits right in here. That'd be really cool if it did. Just like that. Oh, it's a little too big. Okay. So we are going to need to do some finagling. Maybe we get the street running off of here. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, let's see. This is important that we get this one right. So uh, maybe let's go bit further and then go to about here maybe yeah all right we'll get the the road off of or we'll get the building off of this street here now my goodness words definitely need more coffee um so uh yeah right here yeah that's good we'll place it in at least and then maybe we can move it around a little bit school of science all right so yeah i, I like the idea that this building is facing the nature this side of the building is facing the nature it's not exactly the nicest area the building with this one, it seems like it's a bit, a bit more open, right? So it would be cooler if this one was a bit more um, facing the town. Now we are on a hill, uh, so I wonder if we could get it a bit lower. So it's a bit more included in the town a little bit. But then we're over on this side, we have this uh, the hitbox showing. Um, but we could grab this node here, whatever the first one is, and set it to the same height as that. Maybe that'll lower things that down a little bit. No, nope. maybe we need to lower this node altogether, just manually. Oh, there's another node here. All right, get those to the same height. And uh, that's a bit too low, okay. Uh, so we'll just kind of lift this one up a little bit more. My goodness, I'm forgetting all my keys. Uh, okay, yeah, this is cool. I think maybe we can raise this one up a little bit too. Doesn't need to be exactly flat, but it'd be nice if we could get it um, not so elevated on this side that we have like a huge hitbox showing. Yeah, just like that. So it's a bit laggy this morning. Um, but if we just lower it down a little bit more, yeah, I think that should be good. All right. So now that we know where this is, I probably should have just done this first. Um, let's uh, bring this road out now to about here bring this one across and we won't actually connect it up here but we will get pedestrian connections out that way don't worry and we'll have these three nodes at the same height as the building very good and then this one here actually should probably get pulled back a little bit uh, to about there that's good um, but we could curve it a little bit in we could kind of sever this road connection it doesn't need to be right there um, or what we could do is we could bring this one out like this have that 90 degree connection um, maybe have a cooler road running into uh, the school. Um, but I always like the idea of like kind of having like a grand entrance into a university or something like that. That's always nice. 
Uh, but why don't we go with my favorite road in the game, which is this one here, the large avenue with grass. I think it's always really neat. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we have this large avenue with grass, and we can slope the, the road here using the network multi-tool, the aforementioned greatest mod. Slope it in like that. 0.9% 9, .9 grade. Incredible stuff. And then we can come out here with our smoothing tools and just go to about this size here. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll just smooth out the terrain. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Um, so with uh, with this, oh, we definitely need to slope this out over here too. My goodness. This is probably the most building I've ever done in a stream. <laughs> uh, all right. 0.4%. That's awesome. So now from here, we could easily just kind of curve it around the side of this area here. We could connect it up right here. Uh, we could get some more buildings out this way too. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, why don't we try and do that then? Um, so if we uh, grab our road and we'll go no parking. All right, maybe we'll go parking on this one. And we'll just uh, bring it out like this with the curved road tool. Four units. No, uh, maybe we go two units out like that. And we just bring a straight road across. How does that look? It's a bit too tight. Yeah, it is. Bring this out like that a little bit. And then with uh, move it here, we can grab the segment. Pull it in a little bit. That's pretty cool. A little sharp curve. Connect it up right into here. Bit of a bypass too, which I'm not a fan of though. Um, so we might need to ban trucks on this part. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know if I really want to get like uh, other buildings out this way from the university uh, because they don't really match up. So if we're looking at the university itself uh, and we're looking at like this one here, this math building, it doesn't really line up with uh, the same style with like the blue roofs and stuff. Uh, same with the media lab. Actually, the media lab is pretty good. Um, but uh, yeah, not too much the same. And like particularly with like the dorms and whatnot, I don't think we necessarily need the dorms. Um, uh, because I feel like the School of Science is a bit more like an off-campus kind of area. Um, maybe we can get one kind of building out this way. And if we do that, where should it be? Don't necessarily want it right behind the diner. But that's not a terrible area. Uh, but perhaps we can just kind of have like a, a road running right through here or something like that. Right along the side. If we just go with uh, this one here. Yeah, why not? We can just get a little bit of a a cul-de-sac kind of area right through here. Then we uh, with the, uh, what's it called? Paths, I think. I think that's the word for these. Yes, it is. Uh, we could easily just connect up right here, go into um, uh, remove all guidelines. And then what we can do is we can draw a path from here through the campus buildings, making sure we don't uh, go over top of, or underneath any trees. Oh, I'm using the wrong path. Whoops. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still using the, the old path. All right, let's let's restart this. Let's restart. All right, we'll just grab this building with move it, move it over, go into delete, 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 go back to move it, control Z, and we're back to where we were. Um, Shuka says gangster level building going on. Heck yeah. All right, so let's uh, go through here, just like this, right back to where we were before. And then look at that. We connect up with this street here like that. And then we could even bring a connection from this intersection up like so. Very cool. Love going through these campus buildings uh, with paths. It's always very, very fun. Uh, we'll come up with this one too. It always depends on what path you use too because sometimes uh, some of them don't exactly look perfect. But going with this one here looks pretty good in my opinion. Oh, were we too close to the tree? Yeah, we were too close to the tree on that one. So I definitely got to grab this and pull it a little bit. Very good. All right, and then over here we have a secondary entrance. Okay, and this entrance is right here beside the um, bus stations and stuff like that. So we should probably have a dedicated uh, path going into here. So from this intersection here, we can easily have a nice big or a nice simple path connection in. 
and then we can even have a connection right down like that and even across very cool all right add in a few trees maybe fill this in whoa too big yeah very cool all righty so we have uh, a tree that is not used in the build so if we go into alt b and we go into the bob mod uh, we can then change the trees out and for the alders uh, we are going to change them out for the generic pine tree and we need to do that for all three parts of the building uh, so again down to the generic pine tree and one more time generic pine tree where are you there it is and fantastic looks a lot more like our area uh, now doesn't it all right so i was thinking with like the height of this we could throw like a, a key along it but that's okay i think it's not it's not too crazy of a height difference uh, but why don't we use a, a fence of some sort and we'll just use the farm fence i like the farm fence it's really cool and we'll just uh go with some straight pieces uh like this right to about here blocking off the cliff Do the same thing whoops a bit too close to those areas there there we go make sure we're not deleting anything very good and do we need another one no i don't think we do but just holding off uh the terrain here like that um very good all right so uh now that we've got this in place let's read the chat and then i gotta go on to the next step because we only have half an hour left in the stream so um let's see there's a couple of buildings in here that are a little bit a little bit too large in my opinion all right what were these balconies oh it's a fire escape okay let's actually check the building out really quickly because that'll be useful we're gonna add in some parking in a second all right where else could we add in some features we have the path walking through the building there's some parking in the middle here that's pretty cool and parking on the end over here all right well that's interesting how do you get there <laughs> driving through the pedestrian zone maybe that's like professor's parking or something like that uh, i guess in a way we could have probably gotten a road connection up here but there's all these trees in the way so how could you get the road like i didn't place any of these trees we could take them out but i think it's fine to leave in or we could take out the parking lot itself uh let's do that let's see if we can do that uh let's move this down here i think it's science section b if we go into here we can find uh the parking spaces there we go yeah and then we can just remove them awesome look at that and then over here though we have n oh wow that's there's no way to get into there but maybe that's like security or something like that so we can leave those maybe they drive along here i think we can leave those those ones uh in the middle um all right so let's get some whoa i'm gonna show the downtown there <laughs> let's get some chat going here okay holy cow uh, it's been a little while since i've read uh these comments so uh let's see <laughs> fast forward says crikey that's a big building uh yeah we gotta get rid of some of uh, the taller ones here unless we're talking about the science center building because or, or the science building here because that is a large building as well um and us bureau of employment history says uh some of the uni buildings are so big in the game yeah 100 percent agree they're a little too large but i think we can we can incorporate a few more um we'll see we'll see and uh we have a few name suggestions uh, as well we'll add those in uh, at the end of the episode uh and um are those bleach references oh i can't remember what i said i'm sorry uh and uh, eternal gaming says uh like nice grand road i i agree I think maybe we can get some bigger trees along there as well uh and uh jason myers says did he read my comment was it the the bleach references one uh my apologies i forget what i what i said um and uh explain why new brunswick has some french town names ask the legend well new brunswick uh was settled by french settlers uh they have a a name um the the culture that settled called acadians and uh they settled in new brunswick and in 1713 uh once the british took over the um uh, the colony of nova scotia as new brunswick was once a part of the colony of nova scotia um they 
kind of gave an ultimatum after the Treaty of Utrecht to the Acadians. They were like, uh, join, uh, a pledge allegiance to the British Empire or leave. And uh, some of the Acadians did, of course. Uh, and there's a, still a big French uh, population coming from Acadian descent uh, in New Brunswick. Uh, and because it's really close to Quebec as well, the province of Quebec, that is. Um, and Quebec City as well. It's pretty close to Quebec City. Uh, but uh, a lot of Acadians didn't want to leave. So, uh, But were forced to leave uh, if they didn't pledge allegiance to the, the British. So um, the British expelled them. And as a result, uh, there's an event called the Acadian Expulsion. Uh, and uh, they shipped the Acadians off to other French colonies, whether it be back to France or places like Louisiana. Um, and in Louisiana, they have a large French population. It wasn't too large before 1713. Um, and uh, they got a huge influx of Acadians, which is still seen today with uh, like Cajun culture um, and, and whatnot. So, yeah, that's why uh, New Brunswick has some French town names, but also its proximity to Quebec. Uh, some Canadian history early in the morning. <laughs> Very fun. Um, so, uh, Eternal Gaming says, uh, the paths add life and feel to that's missing from some of these university buildings. Yeah, hundred percent agree. I hope people start using them and particularly if we maybe get some buildings out this way, I'm hoping that they use the, the pathway through here. Um, and then, yeah, but I'm going to put the tram stop right out this way too. So a uh, good reminder to do that. So if we have our tram, we have the tram stop right here. I'm just going to move it down one block. Yeah, that way hopefully people will use it. I don't want to get it too close, though, to this one. But, yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. All those people are using it. That's fantastic. All right, let's go back to the comments because I didn't finish reading it. Oh, and I missed something important. Uh, the dumpsters on the building. I always like to make sure that the dumpsters are included, make sure that the garbage trucks can get there. And it looks like the garbage truck could probably pull in through here pretty easily. So uh, we're good. We're good. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit more. Um, all right, and uh, fast forward is hyping up the BOB mod. Heck yeah, I agree. The BOB mod is incredible. Definitely makes things look a lot nicer. Uh, and time is zooming by. Yes, uh, 100%. Uh, I can't believe there's only half an hour left in the, the stream. Um, and uh, US Bureau of Employment History says parking in some of these vanilla buildings is so weirdly placed. Uh, I agree. There are some strange places um, that the parking is is on. Uh, and Legend says, any progress on Fort Perry episode 110? Uh, probably not. Uh, we're not going to probably do that. I have a few more videos that I want to do before City Skylines 2 um, plus this. So we'll see if it ever comes to fruition. I believe uh, you're talking about maybe like a um, a video where we kind of like recap the series. Uh, perhaps not. So Fort Perry, since Fort Perry is broken, it's, uh, it's a little unfortunate. I also don't keep my saves. Um, so... All my content that is in a previous video or something like that I is deleted. So the only versions of that film tape that I have is from YouTube. So uh, if we ever do something like a recap series, I'll have to like capture YouTube. But maybe one day we could, um, on a stream or something like that, we could go through some of the old videos together. Just kind of like going through like, oh yeah, I remember that kind of thing. That'd be fun. That would be a fun stream to do. Maybe we can do that on the Discord. That would be fun. Uh, that seems more like a Discord thing than a YouTube thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, join the City of Friends Discord. Uh, the link should be below. If not, you can definitely find it on the channel. Uh, if you click uh, the, my channel link, you'll find it there. Um, and uh, Jason Myers says, sorry for my dumb uh, questions. Uh, my goodness, Jason, no questions are dumb questions. And U.S. Bureau of Employment History says, that would be a fun Discord stream. And Shukabo has sent the link. Bless Shukaboa. Join the City of Friends Discord. It's a ton of fun. We have over 300 people in there now. And there's a big announcement coming on Monday. So you want to see that. Stay tuned. It'll be definitely announced on the Discord as well. Uh, but right in here, we need some parking. And I was thinking we should probably just use the vanilla parking lots. They're pretty darn cool. Uh, but should we go with something a bit more scummy, like a university normally would do, and we go with uh, paid parking lots? How about that? Um, all the universities that I know of have like 
really expensive parking. So I think we could do something like that. Uh, I didn't do that in the, uh, the video next week, but I think it could be funny if we do that here. Let's see. Let's make sure we line up the fences. And maybe one more right here. We'll go with the smaller one. And line up the fences. So it looks like one fence. Okay, very good. And then this one needs to be a little bit higher, apparently, because there's some clipping with the terrain. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. And this one, apparently. There we go. All right. And then I need to make sure we have no parking on this road. <laughs> because I want people to pay for parking. There we go. All right. Uh, very funny. Very funny. And we'll do the same thing here. No parking. No parking. Um, but we need to make sure that there is no trucks using this road because um, I don't want it to be seen as a cut through. This is the university. So let's uh, grab this and oops, wrong one. Uh, no trucks, no trucks. But this truck just went through. That's OK. All right. So we have parking through here um, and we need to change the tree on this grand road, uh, which is definitely my favorite road in the game. Definitely a very cool road. Uh, all right. So there we go. And then this node right here, we should definitely change. We're going to change up this road when we build up this area. So uh, we'll definitely come back to this node, but it looks a little off. So I'm just going to click node controller, click square. And this one should probably be like that. This one should probably be like this because it is the dominant road. Um, maybe pull it back a little bit though on both sides. All right. Very good. Very cool. Very cool. Um, what should we do through here? That's a tough one. I don't really want to do too much with this area. And we did have this all forested up. So we got to put that back. Maybe we could get a bit of a suburban development out this way too. That could be cool coming from this road here. But this is a major thoroughway uh, for traffic coming from Dipsy Doodle. Because this is Dipsy Doodle Highway. Um, now, actually, originally I was planning on putting the university out over here. Um, but uh, eh, that's okay. Uh, let's add in a few more of these university buildings. Uh, so let's see. We have a library. Should we have a library? It's a bit too big of a building, I think. Um, math club. No, I like some of these older buildings. They're pretty cool. They could be representative of like an old farm out this way or something like that. Um, maybe the math club's a bit of a better option for that, though. Uh, but what else? The school gym. We have the cafeteria and we have some dorms. Why don't we get one dorm out this way and we'll get uh, like a cafeteria or something like that too. That could be cool. Now the dorms do have parking on them. So you got to make sure that the, you set them to the same height as the, the roads and get them on a road itself. Um, and uh, as we'll see next episode, that is a something that I did not plan for when I initially started building. So funny moments in next episode. Uh, but let's see. So there's a lot of hitbox here that is just plain grassland. So we could probably just move this in like that. Very good. And we'll add some more parking as well. It doesn't look too bad. Maybe if we get a few more little teeny buildings here, that could be cool. Uh, clicking the wrong buttons again, as always. And we got the university gym. Uh, that's huge. All right. Maybe not. The study hall. That's also way too big. Uh, and we have the, the groundskeeping and whatnot. Okay. The gym we already checked out, right? That's too big for that area. This is the cafeteria. Okay. The cafeteria can fit here perfectly. Let's see, there is parking on it, but I think we can get away with it. And we're on the road a little bit. That's okay. And I'll set this to the same height. Very good. And then uh, we need a bit of parking out this way too, but uh, should we connect up here? Why not? Let's do it. Let's see. We connect up like this. Oh, wrong road type. Uh, something like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We bring it out a little bit more. Yeah, okay. I like that. And then why don't we add in a few more little buildings too? Um, perhaps, uh, I don't think we need anything 
like uh, the fountain or anything like that over here. The auditorium, that's too big. Now, all these classes are going to take place in here. This is just, just the science building, right? The media lab, okay. The media lab could be cool. Does it fit out this way, actually? Now, I don't know if I want anything on this main road here. Uh, but uh, how about the math club or the chess club here? The chess club has a really cool uh, look to it. See if we can pull this over. I'm glad that it's still kind of um, working. There's not like that road issue. So that means we can throw in like uh, this path right here and then just bring it right in like that. Yeah, awesome. That's really cool. Okay. Then we definitely need to add in uh, some beautification along this road. So let's go with uh, the farm fence. I really like the farm fence for these kind of detailing projects. Something simple like that. And we have bushes going through it. Let's see if we can get rid of that a little bit. There we go. I don't mind the flowers so much. The bushes looked a little funny. Um, and uh, that's probably good. I don't think we necessarily need the fence the whole way around. Um, but let's definitely add in a few more of these trees. Very good. And then we'll, then we'll read the chat again. All right. Maybe one more over here. Very nice little area. It uh, doesn't need to be too too crazy, but we need parking now for the um, uh, dormitories. So uh, this is probably assigned parking. So we can probably get away with something along the lines of um, the, where is it? These ones, these ploppable parking spaces. And my goodness, 20 more minutes. Holy cow. Uh, five by two parking, maybe. Yeah. Actually, let's go with uh, one of these six by threes, I think. Nope. Nope. Don't like that one either. Five by three is what I, I think I was thinking of. Yes, this one. All right. So if we just do this, bring it right up against the building itself. Very cool. We need to lower the land around it, though, uh, so we don't get all that nonsense happening. <laughs> Very good. All righty, all righty. Doing good, doing good. Smooth it out a little bit, maybe. And then we'll forest all this up again. Um, but we need uh, some paths. So I'm thinking we go with maybe a dedicated path we'll go with the the trade school path here and then oh sorry trade school we got to go with the university path my goodness and then right from here uh we will go come out to about this point right about there and then we can come back with the uh service painter mod because that way we can color this in a little bit better all righty um always looks a little bit awkward that's okay. And then we'll just uh, take a fence. Actually, we'll come back and do that in a second. Uh, but we need uh, this one here again. And we just need to maybe curve it a little bit more. Get a fun little action to this area. And then right from here, we go uh, straight again, right across like that. That way we have uh, a connection to the back of the dorm here. Fantastic. All right. And then we need a fence. So uh, let's get the iron fence for this one and then we'll just run the fence right beside the path like that a bit a bit of protection there and then we'll just do something like that and we'll get a few trees very good all right now instead of having the footpath with trees we're just going to do them manually um, because that way we can select where exactly we want the trees so um, and we could just turn collision off, I think, and uh, go into this uh, area with the trees. Yeah, very good. All right. So um, now let's get a dedicated path, maybe, um, just for funsies from here. And we'll go uh, kind of, where should we go? We'll go right down through the forest. How about that? We'll forest this all up. This will be like a dedicated uh, nature walk kind of thing. 
uh, up to the dorms from the intersection. All right, fantastic. And then we can forest this all back up um, like it was before. Definitely got to make sure that you have a ton of... Oh my goodness, I forgot about um, collision. Holy cow. Let's put collision back on here. Let's delete the trees that are in between our fancy dancy place trees. Uh, don't want that. Got to make sure we keep it clean and uh, clean for all the students here. The groundskeeping probably takes care of this so, so well. And we just ruined it. <laughs> so... Uh, definitely get these trees back in place here. All right. Nice big forest, forested area. Uh, always good. We could always add in another path too. Maybe right from here, right up to this intersection. Very, very cool. Very cool indeed. And I think we need one more building from uh, the campus area. And that is uh, the... Actually, maybe two. Maybe two. Because I think we could go with like a statue or something like that right here. Yeah, that's cool. And we'll just go control H. And then we'll go into node controller. And then on this node here, I just want to swing this one out a little bit more like that. Yeah, that's cool. All right, and we have a bit of a nature kind of walk through here. And then I learned in the next episode that we can do something fancy, that if we go into here and we just click tiles, we get this tile, which is the same as this one. So you'll see me struggle with that next episode. But look at this. It looks like a continuation of this path. So we can just kind of continue this right down through here. We'll make sure we delete all of this. Very, very cool. And then what if we just do a little bit of a touch up here with the concrete? Very, very good. Like that. And then if we just go back to the tiles, we can do the same thing right here. Very fun, very fun indeed. All right, this is gonna be a bit of an awkward one. <laughs> uh, but uh, let's see, yeah, I don't wanna hide it too, too much. So we'll just go with some concrete, I think. Uh, okay. Reminder to self, don't do this on angles. I'm sure we can hide it like this. There we go. Over here is a bit awkward. Ah, I hope in the next game there's something like like that, like this that we can touch up these areas and it looks a lot nicer um, than the Surface Painter mod. Uh, but uh, that's okay. We can hide it like that. <laughs> All right. Very good. And then I don't think we need one on, on the other side. I think we'll leave it open to nature. Uh, but okay, so we got some of those in. Uh, and uh, I said one more building, which was the groundskeeping I wanted to get in, uh, which is right at the beginning. Uh, and I think we could just kind of place it, um, not in campus area, my goodness. I think we could just kind of place this off of any road, really. But why don't we grab like a dirt road and uh, right off of, oh, that was the right area. There we go. Uh, right off of here, we can just kind of maybe say it was an older house or something. And, uh, oh, wrong button again. My goodness, I'm all lost, apparently. There we go. I like that idea. All right, the science building is right over here. And I took out some trees that I shouldn't have over on this side, too. So let's add them back in. Very, very cool. All right. Um, so was that everything? I think it was. That's everything I had planned for the episode. Uh, so let's read some chats, and yeah, this is fun. I like this area, um, and we got to clean up uh, Prattsburg before we head off in 12 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Um, so uh, let's uh, go back to the chat through here. Holy holy cow, holy cow. Um, all right, where were we? Where did we leave off? Um, and Oh, the Discord, okay. David says, hey, folks, better late than never. Welcome, David. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Could you remind me, David? Uh, I believe we just continued this road out through here called Lilith Street. And I believe this was named after your dog. I think this street goes all the way through here. Yeah. But we just have uh, this street continued all the way out to this new campus area, uh, the School of Science, which is a bit of a teaser for next episode. Holy cow, that's expensive. Oh my goodness. That's not good. <laughs> hopefully our budget can handle it but that's why i wanted to get the farming and the oil industry done before we started doing this because oh 
that is expensive to upkeep. Now, what did that do exactly, uh, to be honest? Because I don't really know. Because these all these buildings have like different things that they do. And uh, this one, an income from specialized industries is increased while reducing the city pollution and electricity consumption. Oh, hey, that's awesome. Because what, before we placed it, we were in the yellow on power. And now we're back in the green. So that's awesome. I like that a lot. Um, all right, and let's go back to it. Eternal Gaming says, very friendly Discord. Yes, the City Friend Discord is a ton of fun. I really enjoy it, and it's a special weekend. Definitely want to tune in. Uh, definitely look out for uh, some news coming. Uh, check out a, a short on any of the crew, uh, the Skyline 6 crew, that is, on their channels, and maybe you can see a little hint about something coming up on Monday. Um, and... Uh, and Jason says a live stream reacting to your favorite Fort Perry moments should work. That'd be fun. Let's, uh, I'll try to do that on the discord. I'll talk to the team and we'll see about a potential of doing that sometime. Um, which I'm sure is not a problem, but just scheduling it and the feasibility of, uh, streaming from my YouTube channel. I'm not sure how we're going to go about doing that, but we'll all figure it out. Can't be that hard. Uh, and then Eternal says, uh, anyone want to trade weather? It's going to be 40 degrees Celsius here and I'm tired of the heat. Oh, that sounds horrible. 40 degrees Celsius is way too hot. Holy cow. I'm sorry. I hope it cools down soon. Stay cool. Drink some water. Get in a basement if you have a basement. Um, get some freezies or some popsicles. Um, get in a pool maybe. Holy cow. 40 is hot. Especially if there's humidity on top of that. Ugh, that's disgusting. Um, some unknown things about canada is canada can get down to minus 40 can also get up to plus 40 i live in an area that has that 80 degrees celsius swing it is crazy it was minus 40 a few times this uh this winter and um my dog kevin who is from the arctic was just having the time of his life there was nothing wrong with the weather outside and i was dying inside he was just like what's going on like this is amazing this is the greatest weather of all time and i was my legs hurt i couldn't feel my legs after being outside for like 10 minutes but 40 degrees Celsius is way too hot, too. Holy cow. Um, all right. Uh, Robo Horror says, will you ever have a webcam live stream? I don't have a webcam, um, nor uh, do I think I will do a, a webcam live stream. Um, but uh, perhaps in the future, uh, there might be some live content. Uh, we'll see. I'm thinking about that a little bit. Um, and... Uh, Legend says, I guess you're not using the ambient music I suggested. Yeah, I was going through the music. Uh, I'm comfortable with uh, the music that I have right now. Although there was one that I was looking into, uh, one of the three songs. But uh, I was looking into the trademark thing, and I was a little comfortable sticking with the YouTube music for now. Um, and uh, US Bureau of Employment History says, uh, no thanks, Eternal. Uh, 12 On day 12 of 100 degree temps? Oh my gosh. That is too, too crazy. My goodness. Yeah, I think there's like a heat bomb or something like that in uh, the U.S. or something like that. Heat dome? Yeah, heat dome. That's what it's called. Ah, disgusting. Uh, Legend says, tomorrow is your three-year anniversary with Spring Valley. Holy cow. Spring Valley was my first ever series, which I should probably delete because it's embarrassing. Um, I was using uh, Apple headphones uh, to record my sound. Not, Do not recommend. Do not recommend at all. Uh, so don't watch it, <laughs> but it's still available. Uh, but holy cow, three-year anniversary of the channel, and we're almost at 3K uh, subscribers too, so that's pretty cool. Um, kind of convenient timing, I guess, 3K, 3K three-year. Uh, and uh, KK Plays says, hello, I'm new. Well, hello, hello, KK Plays. Welcome to the channel. Hope you like the live streams. We try to do them monthly. Um, and, uh, on the discord, there's other, uh, streams that happen all the time. Um, and the Skyline six discord, AKA city of friends discord uh, is a ton of fun. Definitely recommend joining. If, uh, if you're new, if you're new to the, the Skyline six and whatnot, hundred percent. Um, and, and, uh, blocks or I, is that, is that how you say your name? Welcome. Hello. Uh, I hope you, uh, have had a good time so far. And, um, did you do going through the, the chat here? Cause I missed a lot while we were building this up. Uh, seems like everyone was loving the tile selection. I'll definitely like that, that continuation. I think next episode, 
um, we'll have some fun things going on. Um, and uh, RNC Worldwide, what is the Discord link? Shukaboba coming in clutch with the Discord link. Uh, thank you very much. Um, and uh, it's in the channel too. It should be in the description of the video. If it's not, that's strange. Hopefully that link still works at least. Uh, and uh, yeah, all right. So let's. Uh, we have five minutes left. Uh, what else did I want to do in today's episode? Well, I definitely wanted to delete these buildings because uh, I was seeing them. They're a little bit too tall for what we're looking for. We're looking for more like these buildings here. Um, and then cleaning up the streets a little bit here because it's a little messy through uh, Prattsburg. Adding in some trees where we can. Whoops. All right. Well, I think we're kind of done for the day, though, to be honest. Adding a few more trees in here and there. Um, but I don't want to get too, too many trees uh, out in this area. But I think we did a good job at filling in all of uh, the uh, the rest of Prattsburg here. And Dipsy Doodle, um, definitely fun to do. I love filling out the rural areas of, of these towns. I'm really looking forward to City Skylines 2. It looks like uh, how you build out the edges of your towns is going to be really, really different. And I'm really excited about that. It looks really cool. I'm really stoked on that, uh, to be honest with you all. Oh, we got the farmer's market in today. So let's do a bit of a recap then. We got the farmer's market in through here. Just a little teeny little market square with a ton of parking. So this must be a place that is booming in the summer. Um, and then we have a little teeny uh, suburban area here uh, where we have Brian Cameron's house who redeveloped. Um, hopefully Brian Cameron's house is still there. Brian Cameron's house. Yeah, they tore down the old one and they put in this beautiful house uh, with the pond. Look at that. It's even got a courtyard. Heck yeah, Brian Cameron. <laughs> um, and then we got uh, the Stern Von Allen Farms out this way, Smith Farms, really filled this out uh, throughout this area. And uh, and yeah, what else did we do? We did the campus area, which we should probably maybe name with a park, just so we have um, a name floating around here. Um, so I'm just going to cut out the campus area. Whoops, he's probably shouldn't have done that, right over top of a building. <laughs> so so uh, let's just throw in the park area through here, and we'll call it... Just um, uh, what did I call the university? I think I called it Northminster University. Uh, and then I call then we'll call it the uh, Prosper Campus. All right. That's a long name, but look at that. It worked out perfectly. Fantastic. All right. And, and you know what? They have the local diner here, which I'm sure has a ton of and a ton of people um, going to it after class and whatnot. Um, but yeah, this was really fun. I'm really glad we did this today. Uh, it really helps tie in the area here. Um, that is for sure. Uh, well, we might come back here in, in another live stream or something like that because I, there's a lot left. There's a lot of other space left. But I mean, you got to leave open space for nature. Not everything needs to be developed. Um, and we are going to come back to it when we build up this area here where we'll kind of build up um, along in the mountains here. And look at that. I was able to hide the campus area. So uh, that was fun. All right. So let's uh, read some chat and then we're done in two minutes. Um, so uh, David's, David confirmed the road name. Fantastic. Glad we brought that one through. Uh, and uh, do do. Uh, Shuka coming in clutch with the Discord link. Fantastic. I hope to see you in the Discord in a, in a few minutes. Um, I'll be starting work, but I'll join uh, up in the Discord chat in a little bit. Um, but Eternal Gaming says, I'd recommend anyone with name suggestions that didn't get uh, used today to post a comment after the stream or in the Discord. Um, 100%. Please do leave the comment. Hit the like button too. A uh, ton of fun. But uh, it's a bit tricky to keep up with uh, the chat and the name suggestions um, while doing this. So definitely leave them in. Um, I don't mean to miss them. It's just, you know, some I'm trying to move through the comments and whatnot and get back to the building. Uh, but I, I really like the idea of going through some old videos on the Discord channel. So I think that'd be really fun. And yeah, so have a wonderful day, folks. Talk to you soon. Let's get a cool little screenshot here for the, the thumbnail, even though there's not going to be a thumbnail, but I like doing this. Uh, very, very cool. Hope you had a lovely day. Hope you enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Back-to-back uh, -back Skyline 6 videos this Sunday. Uh, 
definitely tune in. It's going to be a ton of fun. We got Raid Kitty and CityZilla. And then there's a really, really special announcement coming on Monday. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Uh, Join the Discord too so you can maybe get that news along with everyone else. And have a lovely weekend. Goodbye. Peace out.